Hi guys, it's Michelle Patterson with Angel Souls and these are your April 2015 Angel Oracle card readings and this month I am going to be using the Angel Feather Oracle by Michelle Newton and of course if you would like a personal reading from me you can go to my website angelsouls444.com the services page and you'll see all the instructions there please just be mindful of the wait time okay thanks guys hi there Taurus let's see what's coming up for you for April 2015 Hopefully you got through March okay. <laughs> and then it wasn't too tumultuous for you. All right. Ooh, courage and faith. So maybe there was a bit of uh, turmoil, but it's leading to a new beginning. Difficulties resolved. A special blessing. Oh, guys, I love this for you. Okay, well, okay. So, like, theoretically, April should be really good for you. <laughs> <laughs> okay, if it's not, don't come back and yell at me, okay? I do my best here. All right, so the first card up we have is Mauve Angel Feather, Courage and Faith. The angels are present and call upon you to be courageous. Draw on and trust in your deep faith, spiritual beliefs, and the angels to assist you at this time. So whatever you just came out of, if it, you know, I have Taurus Rising, and I, I'm recording these like halfway through March, and I can tell you thus far, <laughs> March has been really challenging. But... It's everything that you can handle, right? And I'm sure you did come out of it, by the time you're watching this, you have come out of it with courage and faith. If you're still stumbling around a little bit with everything that's been going on, tune back into this, okay? And you know, if you need help with that courage, don't forget that Archangel Michael is there. Now Archangel Michael, he always wants people to tap into their own inner strength. It doesn't always have to be about you know, you calling him in to protect you against the mean, nasty world, right? You call him in to help you tune into that own strength that you have within your own soul, okay? So, here we go. We have now a new beginning. It's White Angel Feather. The angels ask that you ready yourself to commence something new and exciting. A wonderful, fresh start awaits you. So a lot of stuff had to get cleared out, okay, in order for you to be able to move on in the way that you want. And they're saying actually that the stuff that happened, yes, it needed to happen, but some of you asked for it to happen. And that's the thing. For example, let's say someone's like, I want my soulmate, I want my soulmate, I want my soulmate, and they're really, really, really hung up on that. And then maybe someone came along and you dated them for a while and then it ended pretty abruptly and you're going, ugh where's my soulmate? Well, maybe that relationship, you've heard me say this before, maybe that relationship came along to get you ready for your soulmate, okay? And, you know, I'm not making any predictions here. I don't do that. I give angel guidance for you to figure out what you're going to be doing with your life, right? To help guide you uh, moving into your future. But, you know, this new beginning can be anything you want it to be. So what are you going to do with this energy? All right? That's basically the message for you. All right, next we have Fawn Angel Feather, Difficulties Resolved. The angels are present to inform you that a particularly difficult period in your life is coming to an end. <gasps> Thank God. <laughs> Who wouldn't like to have that come to an end, right? So again, all the tumultuous stuff that might have set your world a rumbling in March or God knows how long. For some of us, it's been years, right? Because we're moving and shaking and you know, spiritually growing and having our awakenings. This is the month where things start to settle down a little bit. That does not mean that everything's going to be perfect, but a lot of the stuff that's been an open issue for you, I think you're going to find some resolution with that. And it's all leading to this card, which I think is just, to me, I think this is the best card in the deck. It's the Rainbow Angel Feather card, a special blessing. With immense excitement, the angels announce that you are to receive a special blessing. Angelic joy will radiate to you through this blessing, okay? Again, take in the energy of this card because it's all worth it in the end. Every, I can't say that enough. Everything that has been occurring <laughs> is because you, you know, on a soul level, you wanted something new. You wanted something different. So the old stuff had to be cleared away. Any change is going to be hard. It's going to be very difficult to get through. We were working with some crazy energies in March, right? And um, one second. <laughs> they're showing me like somebody like busting out of like a dark room and like oh I found the sunlight all right it's here you know and they're also cautioning for some of you not to take negativity with you because that will block your progress does that make sense so if you did have a lot of stuff if you're sitting here watching this going oh, yeah right well I had this this and this happen in my world you have a new beginning here you have all these potentials for things to 
uh, be resolved and to let the blessings in. But if you carry all that negativity with you, you're going to be blocked from receiving it. Okay, or you're going to be blocked from seeing the guidance that's trying to get you towards that special blessing the answer to your prayers, everything that you've ever wanted to manifest, you know, or whatever it is that you're going through right now, it's all set up for you. It's all set up for you. <sighs> Do your clearing. Make sure you're doing your clearing. Work with Sandalfin a little bit. I want to start pulling him in a little bit more. He's, he's very good for grounding and staying rooted and to help you be balanced, okay? And you guys need you like being earthed and rooted so that would be a really great angel for you to be working with okay and just keep the faith okay i'm serious keep the faith things are unfolding for you it's a brand new beginning oh i'm so happy to report that to you <laughs> let's see how the other signs are doing but it looks like you guys are doing all right so have a good month guys and i am sending you so much love take care